Hello, my name is Mrs. CB, and I am a science teacher here at Veritas Scholars Academy. You know, I have always been a curious person, and God used that natural curiosity that he gave me to lead me to this place. When I look around the world, I have questions. Questions like, why did I get my dad's blue eyes, but I didn't get my mom's brown eyes? Why are there volcanoes and where did all that lava come from? You know, one of my biggest questions I always wonder is if we get our, our energy from the sun, then why can't I just go outside and let the sun soak into my skin and be energized? Why do I have to eat food to get energy from the sun? And how does that even work? How do I get my energy when I'm eating rather than soaking in the sunlight? Or what about this question? Have you ever been driving in a car with your parents and for some reason they had to slam their brakes on really fast? The car came to a screeching halt, but your body kept going forward. Why? Why didn't you stop as fast as your car stopped? Or what about this one? What's the big deal with Pluto anyway? Is it a planet? Is it not a planet? And if it's not a planet, why? Who says that it's not a planet anymore? Well, we're going to talk about all of those questions this year in general science and many, many more. I promise I will give you the answers to those questions. You know, we're going to tackle lots of topics in this class. We're going to tackle some really large concepts and ideas, and we're going to look at some smaller concepts and ideas all about nature and the world that we live in. We'll get to explore it all. We get to discover God's beautiful design in his handiwork all around us. You know, the more I discover in science, the more I am in awe of the mighty creator who made it all. The same God who stretched out the heavens and who laid the foundations of this earth, he loves me and he loves you. The God of all creation has turned his affection on you and desires a relationship with his creation. That is an awe-inspiring thought, and we get to explore that in so many aspects of creation in this class. So I look forward to meeting you and to joining with you as we discover the world around us.